Now, WLOX First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kerry Duncan. Good morning, Mississippi. Looking out right now, temperatures are starting to warm up a bit. 42 at the airport with a west northwest wind about three miles per hour. It is going to be a beautiful day. It is a beautiful start. We should see plenty of sunshine. We will see a mix of some cloud cover moving in, but we don't expect rain today. Right now, 45 at Keesler Air Force Base, so you may need a jacket as you head out today. Uh, temperatures, though, are going to warm to seasonable, really where they should be this time of year in the low 60s. And we, again, and don't expect rain as we head through tonight, but we do have alert days in place for Monday afternoon and evening through Tuesday morning at least. We're going to see the rain moving uh, again into the area, but we're going to be expecting to see another round of rain coming in as we head into your Monday. So this is what it looks like timed out for your future cast. Showers really coming in by the afternoon hours and sticking with us through much of the evening. Now, once we hit about eight, nine o'clock, we may get a bit of a break in the window from about 10 to maybe one, and then we'll start to see a few more showers popping up ahead of the main line that's going to be moving into the area, starting somewhere around one, one to two o'clock in the morning. So then that's going to be moving through and it does look like it gets a little bit. Uh, this model is showing it gets a little better organized, which is kind of what happened with the storm uh, just a couple of days ago. Those winds that came through were pretty crazy. And so we do have another wind advisory with this system as well. We're talking wind gusts 50 miles an hour or greater and that's outside of thunderstorms. So also note we've got this green showing up over the area because of this storm system. We did show you a story out of Las Vegas showing a lots of snow and uh, pretty torrential rains. Those that system is going to be heading this way. But today this high pressure will keep us nice and clear. But tomorrow it's a no go for nice and clear weather. Slight risk. That's a level two on a scale of one to five. And then flash flooding risk is actually a level three. It's a moderate risk. Not quite sure why it's not showing up, but you can see a little bit of red and that really encompasses all of South Mississippi. Again, we do have that flood watch also in effect, and this is going to be for Monday afternoon through Tuesday morning, two to four inches of rainfall possible as the system continues to move through South Mississippi. Also, that strong onshore flow coastal flood watch in place for the southern half of all three counties and then the wind advisory also in place place, which means we do have a gale watch in effect. It will go into effect and then a storm watch as we head into the day tomorrow. So afternoon, Monday afternoon to Tuesday morning, south winds with those gusts up to about 50 miles per hour. So here's a look. Not too bad today. Tonight we start to see those winds pick up a bit, but remember we were talking about afternoon hours for Monday. That's where we really start to see those winds picking up. So secure your lawn objects, ornaments, trash cans, anything outdoors, secure them today because tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon and evening, it's going to get crazy rough. Look at this 1130. 40 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts, and this is showing 50 mile per hour wind gusts. So just be aware that as that frontal system is moving in, it is going to be kicking. And this particular model showing what looks like we could see a wake low forming in the passage of that front. So it doesn't look like it'll be rainy, but it does look like it could be windy as we head into Tuesday afternoon and evening. A look at the next seven days shows a little bit of up and down, but again, we did issue alert days for Monday, Tuesday, just because I think the wind's really going to be a disruptor and uh, it's going to have to make you do extra things. Looking at what's happening though through the middle part of the week, it is going to be cold and then we warm back up as we see another chance of rain on Friday.